so let's get into copying and pasting and let's just do something really simple here with the two keyframes. So I've got one and two. So if we hit F, just zoom in there, got another keyframe there. Uh, we can see we've got some keyframes here. Now, if you hit the normal copy in the edit, copy and then edit paste, it will paste like a stepped paste. And this is sort of handy in a number of ways. If you've got an object duplicated over to here and you suddenly have your object doing that, if you want to copy it across, it's sort of like paste connect in the timeline. So if we select those guys there and go copy and then on this guy here, go paste connect, that stays in the same place. I believe that has to have a keyframe on it. If we then go paste connect, now that will paste connect it from its current position. So that's what the default copy and paste is if you load up Maya and you just go edit reset settings on the paste. Now, I've got a hard coded version of this in, so I'll just delete that guy there. It's very easy just to copy and paste frames really familiarly, is we just come up there with the V, we just scoot over to here and go Control C, Control V, and that will paste exactly what you've got selected exactly from where you are in the timeline. So if we're here now in the middle and we go copy and paste, it's just gonna paste it to that frame and to this frame here exactly over the top. You can sort of see if you can imagine those going from that point to that point, copy and paste, that's it. So Control C and Control V and my hotkeys are like a hard coded version of that. They do work from object to object as well. And they sort of work between versions of Maya to a little bit, they actually go to the clipboard. So if we come up here a bit further, it's very easy to go copy paste and then further up going copying and pasting like that. Now, if you wanted to do that from the actual menu, it can be done of course. So if we go up here and we go edit copy, copy is always a really simple one. There's really not very many options for that, but paste, edit, paste. We can come into this window here and we can now come in help images down here. And this can kind of show us what's going on with the paste connect sort of an area. If you just click on merge, that's doing something much more similar to what my control C and control V is doing off the bat. So if we now go apply, that's going to paste that much more like the other till. So there's lots of little switches here. The main one is either merge or if you reset the settings, insert with preserve. That's all good. You can do different value offsets and numeric things with multiple copies, et cetera, et cetera, if you want to do that. So get into this window, the paste keys options window. If you want to really maximize your paste key options, it's all there. But by default, really just if we get into use of the control C and control V is there if we want to do that. And you can use the menu items if you want to go in a little bit more detail with the copying and pasting and keyframes. Remembering that there's also ways of copying and pasting here, and we can also copy and paste entire timelines of animation by right clicking on that. And usually the paste will always happen from wherever you are in the timeline. So by moving that timeline, we can copy and paste to that position as per where our current time is.